And hello everybody, welcome back one more time to No Man's Sky on the PlayStation 4. I'm your host, Nicodemus Kane. This is the fourth one of these bad boys I've done today, because I'm, I'm just, I'm having a good time. I really am. I'm having a good time doing this, and, um, and I figured I'd just keep recording. Yeah, I've got some free time today. I figure why not, you know? Why not? So, we need... Well, the last couple episodes, we've been, uh... We've been finding out we need all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of carbon. Uh, we're gonna need... We're gonna need a lot of carbon. We're gonna need a lot of, uh... uh what else are we gonna need? Oh, man. A lot of ferrite dust. Because the ferrite dust is gonna have to help us make the carbon. This anti... This antimatter housing thing... We need just a whole bunch of nonsense. See, if it'll pop up again, then I'll hit the thing. Um, you know what? Let's... I know this sounds crazy while we're trying to do this, but I'm thinking about this mining laser stuff. You know, because they had a mining laser blueprint up on the space station. I'm almost like, you know what? Let's go, uh... Oh, for crying out loud. How do I tell how much fuel is in the... Can you? <sighs> launch fuel. Um, and of course, launch fuel needs dihydrogen. So I need dihydrogen, son of a gun. Which means I need hydrogen. Some over here. It's just there's so much that you have to do. You know, it's like, it's one thing after another, after another, after another. And if you're not on top of it, you know, you're, you're constantly having to go from place to place to place. Trying to make everything work for you. And it's just, it's not a nightmare. It's, it's not really. It's that the biggest problem that I've been having more than anything else has been inventory space. Uh, except, you know, whenever I decide to go crazy and sell every single thing that I have in my inventory, which is just nuts. So, so, you know, um, <laughs> it's just, I, I, I don't, I, I don't have to worry about that anymore. I, I have gotten rid of everything, so now it's just trying to fill everything back up. So now I need to craft metal plating, and I think metal plating I need, let me finish destroying this rock. But I think for metal plating, I need, um... Let's go to exosuit. Ferrite dust. Okay. And... Dihydrogen. Metal plating. I only have one. Can I craft more? No. What, what do I need? You need 23 dihydrogen and one metal plating. So I need to make another metal plating. But do I have... I don't have enough dihydrogen. All right. Okay. Well... Uh, should I make more? I just... It feels like I should just spend an entire day just trying to mine all this crap. But I wanted to go back up and see about this mining laser. Because if this advanced mining laser makes it easier to mine this stuff, then yes, I want this. I, I need to do this. I need to refuel. Put this here. Put this in there. Well, there we go. And then we just go up. And then we aim it right at the space station. Signal trace detected, scan to amplify. Message amplify target locked. Anomalous broadcast. Okay, well, before we do that, let's go do this since we were heading here first. Okay, there we go. Sheesh. Yeah, before we go check out this, whatever it is, let's go here. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll figure out what's what. I need to take a drink. I've been talking for four hours now. The 
sorry if you guys heard all that. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to go to the space station. And then we're going to check out this... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to see how much it costs for this blueprint. I don't think we're... I mean, not only to see how much it costs, we'll see what it's going to cost us to make. Because you know once we get the blueprint, they're going to charge us to ma actually make this damn thing. Oi. here. I think it's this first guy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creature offers blueprints for upgrades. Sniffing me, invading my personal space, and almost reaching for my suit before looking me over. Yada, yada, yada. Trade nanite clusters for blueprints. Now, I have 90 nanite clusters. Advanced mining laser. Upgraded mining laser with the capacity to bore through dense unyielding materials. Mining speed plus 11%, so it's going to be faster for us to do stuff. And I need two technology modules. Son of a gun. But man, it's worth it. It's worth it. <sighs> And none of this other stuff's really worth it right now. This is worth it. It's going to be worth it. Okay. So... I need ion batteries. And actually, I wonder... I don't know how much money I actually have. <laughs> don't... I mean, if we're going to another planet, we could probably find more of those uh, technology drops. Whatever the hell you want to call them. We could probably find more of those. Uh, and then the ion batteries. I know we can make ion batteries, but uh, the only ion batteries I ever got, I I got from just finding them. Now, I know they're in here. Yeah, I don't care. I, I really don't care. Um, bye. Come on. And it should be. I thought they were in here. I need two. Okay. Technology module. 60,000! Good lord, that's a lot of money. I don't even remotely have that. So I'm going to have to go buy... Or I'm going to have to go find them. That's all there is to it. And usually, in order to find them, you need to... Uh, you need to find those one, uh... Oh, whatchamajiggers. <laughs> Give me damn whatchamajiggers! Um... The one technology, the... the oh, friggin' hell. I don't even remember now. The, um... The... the, the Anomalous broadcast. Is this the same one that we that we went to before? Because the one we went to it had a, a big, huge ship. I don't know if it's the same one or not. No. Oh no. No 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 no. What is this? What is this? Okay. Let's set her down. See what this is. This is new. This is different. Um, how do I get in here? Wow. A spring egg? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, God! Why did I do this? I'm like, I just died. Oh, life is pleasant, death is peaceful, it's a transition that's troublesome. Asimov, you can kiss my butt, man. I can't, I just died! What? What? 
Swarm subsiding. Okay, no more killing the eggs. Oh, dude. There's a grave. That's my grave. Oh, man. What the hell? I can't believe I just died. Okay, so I got all my... I got all my stuff. Is there nothing else I can get out of here? Unbelievable. Okay, so seriously, no more... What is this? Hit the hell. Uh, no more uh, killing the eggs. Because... <laughs> Did you see those things? They were like some kind of... Yeah. Oh, wait, what's this? Forgotten terminal. Repair by removing corrupted material. Residual goop. Okay. I'll take it, I suppose. Terminal online, selecting key, decrypting. Success! Terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. and make, uh, make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a small, unblinking crimson eye. It deposits a sample of antimatter accompanied by a strange message. Read log and take any matter. You will find us when the time is right. 16, 16, yeah, yeah, yeah. Antimatter housing, secure antimatter containment device. So I got, okay. So that was what I needed for the antimatter. So okay, I have to be careful while I'm in here. Because, dude, you know, this is this is totally aliens. Damaged machinery. What do I need? Cobalt? Of course I need cobalt. <laughs> I need a, I need oxygen for a warps for a warp cell now. Which is what I needed before. But hey, don't touch nothing. <laughs> Ammunition. I don't know what's in that one. I gotta wait for it to cycle through. Condensed carbon. Wow. Is that it? Is there nothing else? What's this? Check stock transfer. What? Oh, okay. So, so I need to gather oxygen. Oh, there's O2 up here. <laughs> but you're running. I can't. The the whole <laughs> the the stupid sentinels. Man, I hate those things. The the whole aliens coming out of the egg. Man, never again, dude. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Unbelievable. Just one little tiny plant. Is that it? Oh, look at these damn things. Are these the ones? Because one of these attacked me before. I need to be careful. Craft a warp cell. Construct antimatter housing. Um. Come on. Anti. Warp cell. Antimatter housing. Antimatter housing. Okay. And then. Warp cell. Okay, now what? I have a feeling there's something else. Fuel the hyperdrive. Use inventory. Click. 
Oh no, I was in the right place. So hyperdrive, warp cell. Our ship is out of range. <laughs> An idiot. There's stuff over here though. I wanted to go see what was over here before we do anything else. Unbelievable, man. Oh, wait. Oh, neat. This whole thing is like above the water. That's kind of cool. Nothing found. Oh, that's nice. Uh, advanced ion battery. Okay. Damage container. Sure, why not? Um, is there anything else over here? Save and chart. Okay. Oh, oh, neat. I know you discovered this on 511, yada, yada, yada. Well. Well, hell. All right, then. That's good stuff. So, let's go do this. Hyperdrive. Warp cell. Okay, so now what? Make your way into space. That other planet up there we haven't been to yet either with the rings. Warp to another system in space across the ga excess the galaxy map with... Galaxy map. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Vanish structure, home base, you are here. Oh, wow. X something. Is, is this where we're supposed to be going? Dude, what the shit? Uh, okay, whoa, wait, 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 wait. So each individual one of these, from what I understood, each individual one of these you could go to. And oh my god. God. And that... Dude. <laughs> what the hell? Look at this. Is that the center of the universe? Supposedly, or the center of the galaxy, supposedly? Wow. Look at this. But supposedly every single one of these star systems you can go to. And some of them have not been... Some of them have not been charted. If you chart... If you go there and chart it for yourself, you can claim it for yourself. Supposedly. I don't know if that's true or not. That's what I had heard. Um... Wow. Look at this. This is insane. Yeah, this game just took on like a whole new... <laughs> this game just, just went... Just went way off chart. So, how do I know... I mean, we can't just go to any of these. I'm sure we have to... A Viking Gek... We can't just go to any one of these huh? because it's like six thousand light years. If we, I'm, I'm sure we have to go from from place to place in order to in order to get like you know fuel. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Is that you're going to have to have fuel to be able to go from place to place. Cannot warp select next system. Oh, 
I don't know what I did. Okay. Select my location. Where am I at? Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. They, they they pretty much made it to where I got a straight line and I can't... I guess I can't deviate from that line? I don't know. Apparently I got white screen. Did I break it? I think I broke it. I think I broke it. Because nothing's, nothing's working. I can't believe I broke it, guys. Unbelievable. I broke the game. Alright, we'll close it and then we'll reopen it. You get to see my lovely backdrop. Yeah, I got, I got tons of games on here. I've been playing. Um... Uh, been been loving been loving UFC three. Um, the crew two, I'm not too happy about. I was hoping it would be better than the demo because I got the demo, and I was like, man, I you know, because I love the crew, the crew with the storyline where it took you from Chicago and it made you drive around, you know, and do all the stuff, and that was really good. But this one, it like it drops you in there, and there's no real story to it at all. You're just kind of like you know, do whatever you want to do, and it's like. I didn't like that. I would rather drive from place to place and, and, you know, have to have to get into it instead of instead of the way they had it. And I it just it didn't work for me. It just doesn't feel right. I'm glad I bought it for cheap. I, I, they have the um, they have the deluxe edition on sale right now for like twenty bucks. That's how I got it, and I played a lot of it yesterday. And I'm just like. Eh, <laughs> you know, just kind of like eh, whatever. I'm okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of eh. Of course, uh, Burnout Power Paradise. You know, that's just for fun. I I had the original Burnout Paradise on the uh, the PS3. Love the heck out of that game. Um, got a pretty good amount in there. You know, uh, we got the. I think I was able to get that for 10 bucks. I think it was on sale. I don't think it was a free game. Was it a free game? It might have been a PS Plus game. But, uh, yeah, I got that. And, of course, WWE 2K19. I'd been playing the hell out of that. And then was the other one, Star Trek Online. I don't even know why that one's been pulled back up. I'm, I'm thinking about deleting that because I haven't touched it in forever. In a day. So this is where they drop me back in. All right. Okay, so now we have to fuel the hyperdrive again. Right. So let's got, get back in here. We'll go through this whole process again. Fuel the hyperdrive. Then make your way into space. Now warp to another system. And this time we won't screw around. Current system advantage structure fuel generation. So am I going to have to... Am I supposed to follow the... Am I supposed to follow the... Uh, this is Corvax. Warp computation validated 94 light years. It's water. It's like a warp there, set waypoint, deselect, scan discoveries. Contact? What's contact? So what does this mean, contact? A 
anomalous signal blocking warp. Oh, okay, that's different. Well, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Wow. I can't do the uh, <coughs> the Doctor Who theme. for the TARDIS to, like, pop out on us. Jeez. Okay, this is neat, I suppose. <laughs> Whoa! A Cursey... A Cursey 12 system. Unknown planets. Scan this bitch. Ypsolata. Hire a base scientist. Anonymous subspace signal detected. The rainy planets. And there just happens to be a space station. Of course there happens to be a space station. Why not? Go check it out. Hostile subspace scan? What? Okay, well, they're gonna have to come fight me in here, because... Dude, are you serious? Hostile ships? Oh, great, that's all I need to, uh... Message Amplified Sources Planetary Outpost. Okay, well, in the meantime... Um, <laughs> in the meantime, let's go check this out. Apparently there's supposed to be different, uh, are there different creatures in here? Are they all the same? Oh, who's this guy? A scholar Entity. Right. Are you a robot? Are you a robot? As with many of their kind, this Corvax, Corvax projects light from around their visor. But as I look more closely, I see these are not just random patterns. They have created a tiny, perfect hologram of the local star system. Oh, let's compliment. Corvax nods before altering the projection slightly, highlighting the planet closest to the substation, or the space station. Perhaps I should investigate. Perhaps I should. Oh, that's kind of cool. Everything, the locked door. Oh. It's, um, there's stuff in there. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably one of those places where I can actually get, uh, get, like, a, a chest that I can put stuff in. So what's this guy? Chemist Entity Mosty. Okay. As I approach the electronic life form that, and they, as I approach the electronic, electronic life form, they instinctively start, to, starts to analyze me from head to foot. They chitter animatedly. Their head tilted to one side. The more they study, the more the facility's resource vaults consumes what my scanner suggests are silicate elements. I mime that I know little of their kind or how they communicate, and the flashes and their masks, and the lights in their mask flags. Blah, 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 blah. Give common metal. Okay, well, give them common metal. Why not? The electronic life forms lights flicker with mild disappointment. Nevertheless, they rest their hand on my visor and thank me with a transfer of language. Okay. You learned Corvax word for rare. Oh man, there's a whole nother uh There's a whole nother language I gotta worry about. Manager Ogum. Gek. Something gek. So this is the way it's going to be. It's going to be like Final Fantasy X with the uh, Albed language. That's exactly what this is. Hey, the life form's eyes widen in surprise when I go to talk to it. They lean back 
and watch for sudden movements. They have very clearly never seen anything quite like me before. I mime that I cannot speak their language and, increasingly reassured, the beak trader indicates they are willing to help in exchange for particular elements. Um, let's give them some organic element, why not? The grateful trader clicks their beak with delight. My offering is clearly what it most desired. They teach much of the dialect of their people. I got the word for spawn. Babel 17. Uh, I got the word for friend. That was it. Just two. That's not many. Journey milestone accomplished. I had learned eight words. Uh, if you didn't know, kids, the word Babel comes from the Tower of Babel. Uh, it's where all of the world used to be together in one place at one point in time and decided to build a tower up to heaven. And God decided to confuse all their languages, and he said, nope, we're not doing that. Improvised Shock Hunter. Yeah, I can't afford that. There's no way. One million units? Are you kidding me? Um, what do you got? Technology Merchant Rec Recovore? Yeah, that didn't do anything anything for me, buddy. The life form offers me blueprints for exosuits upgrades in exchange for night clusters. Their facial lighting brightens as they see me. They produce multiple data pads held with perfect balance from the tips of their silicon fingers. Well, do you have anything different, perhaps? Uh, negative. You don't have anything different than what the other guy had. Okay. <clears throat> Who are you? Technology merchant. Yeah. Life form off some blueprints. Um, do you have the same blueprints? You have different blueprints. Phase beam, cyclotron, ballista, conflict scanner, cadmium drive. Nope. I should see the other stuff they're offering. I just don't. <laughs> Okay, this guy's offering blueprints. Let's see about the upgrade modules. I wonder if they if they each have... Uh, okay. New blueprints. Not Nautilon Cannon, Osmotic Generator, and a Thesis Beam. Thesis Beam? Yeah. Uh, Life from Oxy Blueprints. Uh, let's see if his upgrades are different. I don't think they are. Oh, they are. They're different. Underwater protection module? Wow. Okay. Shield latest neural stimulator. Corvex rank 3 required. Hazmat gauntlet. Uh, wow. Corvex rank 3 required. So I can't even get the hazmat gauntlet until I get a rank 3 for these guys. That sucks. What is this? 10,000? Please. Please and thank you. Dude, man. Each one, I'll, I'll do each one of these damn things. I don't care. Appearance modifier. I don't need to worry about my appearance. Because I'll tell you what, man, that's the one of the biggest problems I had, and I've said it before, is my inventory. It just sucks. I cannot stand it. Journey milestone accomplished. 25 Ks. Give me skibby. Now, did each one of these guys have, like, a different thing that they say, or what? Convergence entity? Um, the lights in the lifeforms casing are white and dim. But as they turn to talk, their masks become momentarily blank. They swiftly come back online, but I can't help but feel that their piercing gaze is that of a different entity altogether. Nonetheless, they seem keen to communicate. Uh, barter? Okay, what do I have to barter with? Convergence entity Akuni Akuni accepts my offering, gives me a package in return. Gek Relic. Okay. Gek Relic. Chemist? code entity can I like uh, and it's still offline okay 
convergence entity. Uh huh. Life Lum glares at me briefly, shaking their head. They seem to be a representative of the Guild of Mercenaries. Perhaps I could impress them by undertaking work from the Mission Listings Agents? Mission Listings Agents. Operator entity. Life, life form gesture, gestures apologetically. Tech meaning is unclear, but as apparent, there is no work for me here. But, and or J log. I wonder if these are different. I doubt they are. Technology module. No. What was the thing I was looking to, uh, something I was looking to build? I'm <laughs> getting so wrapped up in all this other crap. There's nothing in here. We gotta go down to that planet, which means we gotta go back out and worry about these hostile assholes. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, just good old stuff, man. Just good old stuff. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anomalous signal detected. <sighs> Two, one, go. It looks like a red planet. Wonder if there's a uh... Can the scans go faster than the ship? I don't think the scans can go faster than the ship. I don't want to stop because I don't want to worry about, like, hostile jerks. Scanner is recharging. Wind, sweat, planet, cactus, flesh, copper, pyrites, and sodium. I wonder what they use pyrite for. I mean, I know pyrite is, uh, it's fool's gold. And I know people use it for stuff. I just don't know what exactly you use pyrite for. I didn't even know there's like an actual, you know, use other than just selling it. Selling it to suckers. I have some pyrite, uh, somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, I got from a... We went to a cave. What's the name of that cave? Uh, I want to say Squire Boon, but I don't think it's right. Um, Hell Air. <laughs> okay. Military Outpost. But we, um... But we went to... We went to this place, and, uh, you know, we went through this whole cave, and... They were like, yeah, they, they thought this cave was, it was going to be something because, oh man, look at this place is flat. Oh, wow. Okay. This is mesas. Those are giant trees. Ah. That's kind of what they look like. <laughs> giant trees, go look that stuff up. But, um, <laughs> they, uh. They said, yeah, they're, they're, they had this gigantic, um, um, pyrite deposit inside of this cave, and they thought that it was, you know, they thought it was something big. I'm trying to, ooh, don't do that to me. There we go. So they were selling this stuff. I think it cost us, like, $11 for, like, three pieces of this stuff. It's like... If it's if it's that bad of a thing, then why in the world are you guys selling it for that much? Dry gusts, relaxed sentinels, abundant flora, and frequent fauna. New planet discovered. Press that to upload and rename. What? Press options to upload and rename. I did. Um, 
That's what it said. Oh, zero of eleven species found. Uh, okay. Rename and upload. Name your discovery. Upload discovery to. Okay. I didn't know this was a thing. Um, somebody got that. Somebody discovered that, but I discovered that. That's kind of cool, man. That's kind of neat. So, I, I, I discovered this planet. Seriously. You're, you're joking with me now. I can't rename it now. But I discovered this. This is like my... My planet. My thing. That's kind of crazy. I don't know. Let's go talk to this guy. Likelihood of Traveler Anomaly, now beyond two standard deviations, suggest further aid, blueprint offered. Unlike the other life forms I have met so far, this one speaks in a language I understand, and yet I cannot comprehend their meaning. They speak as if they do not know what they are saying, as if their mind is not their own. The alien offers me a blueprint, a means to construct my own antimatter. Yes! I take the antimatter blueprint... Whoever's leaving this trail has some has some design, but what it is I cannot fathom. There is nothing to do but continue to follow. Wow. Alright, I learned antimatter. Well, that's cool. There's stuff up here too. Okay, I'll create animator in a second. Just hold on now. Gotta get all this other stuff. I like stuff. Health. Some of this. The Gek Relic can be offered to the Gek. Something or other. I didn't read it. So it's just a little outpost out here in the middle of of the Mojave Desert. And, uh... <laughs> what do you gotta say? This is crazy. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Multitude of processes appear to be working within the electric life form. There's one, however, a very simple and, and inelegant one that's devoted to conversing with creatures of low intelligence. Right now, a fraction of that process seems to be directed at me. Uh, ask for directions. Operator entering Limp Lintamb offers directions to a place of interest. Trading post detected. Where? What is this? Terminal is Galactic Trade Terminal. Right. Destination reached. To what? Trading post call sign received. Alien life form and trading platform something or other. I missed it. Is there somebody coming in to land? Ah, yes. This is alright. This is neat. This is good stuff. Starship of Code. Uh, the scientist is open to trading and to discussing the sale of their ship. What? Make an offer for the lifeform Starship. I can buy his ship. What does he want? Negotiate price. <laughs> what does he want? <coughs> So mine is 385,000. He wants 720,000. He's got 16 slots. That's not bad. Damage is up. Everything else kind of sucks. Exchange, 720,000. I don't have that much. I don't have that much. I can't do it. There's nothing I can do for it. I. You can buy other ships. Hey, man, you can buy other ships. Can you... It'd be nice if we were able to, like, 
What do you want? It'd be nice if we were able to, like, you know, modify our ship. I'm sure there's a way. The lights and electronics uh, kind of brighten. They jerk their heads sharply to the right, a strange, budget, strange buzzing noise signaling an onrush of unseen data. Download over. They downgrade their communication channel to those of convenient speech. Okay, let's barter. Let's see what happens. Uh, he accepts my offer and gives me a package in return. Life support gel. I got another trophy. Contacts. Cool. Look at that big bastard. So pretty much any of these ships that come down I can barter for. I got another journey milestone. I met ten aliens. Nice. <laughs> should I stop? I think I'm at a place where I should probably stop. I don't know. I I, I want to I want to go around this planet and just check stuff out because this is. Look at these damn things. What in the world, dude? Look, holy crap! There's a cave. There's a cactus. Cacti. Wow. I think we need to land. I think we need to land and uh, check some of this stuff out. I'm going to do that, and there's a thing right there, too. So I'm going to land, and I'm going to stop. <clears throat> um, I'm going to keep playing. I don't care. I'm going to keep playing. One more episode. This stuff is cool. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get out of this ship, and then we're going to uh, we're gonna mine the hell out of this place. Let's we'll see what's in here. Go away. Go. Oh, there we go. But this is this. Oh shit! The hell! Oh man! Of course, there's hostile bugs and, and hostile rodents. Why wouldn't there be hostile rodents? Jeez. Unreal. Like wolves. At least they're not trying to attack the ship. I can't shoot. <laughs> I can't shoot from here. There's just a thing right there I want to get. Come on, you bastards. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look at that son of a bitch. Buck, buck, a buck, do yung, yung. Stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A robotic life form runs towards me. Light streams from the metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me. I accept the knowledge. The name Corvax floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. Word in this alien, alien tongue is seared in my brain. I just learned a Corvax word for Corvax. Marklar? Marklar. Marklar, Marklar. Look at this thing. Diet of forged nuts, it does not age. You believe that? Okay, we're, we're done. <laughs> we're done with this. Um, there's got to be a peaceful place on this planet somewhere. This sucks. Dude. Wow. Look at this. This is kind of cool. I mean, this is, this is cool stuff. I, I like this stuff. Can we land on that? This is... Treat. <laughs> Just saying, man. Just saying. This looks like a tree to me. Uh, okay. Wow. A tree of volcano. Oh my... Oh, 
was it? Did I get it? What? Wait. Dude, <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. It's like Minecraft on steroids. It's like, you know how in Minecraft you get like one world and you're stuck on that world pretty much. Well, on this, where'd he go? He's in the, oh, he's in the sun. <laughs> in this, you get like a million different worlds you can go to at once. Dude. But, um, anyways. Yeah, I gotta stop. I'm gonna, let's go down here and we'll stop. And uh, hopefully there's, we'll find a place that's not covered in animals. Because that's kind of bunky. And I want to get out and mine some stuff, too. Okay. So anyways, thanks you guys very much for watching. This has been uh, No Man's Sky on the PlayStation 4. I have been Nicodemus Kane. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, or don't. Um, I always say it doesn't matter, because honestly it doesn't matter at this point. That's, you know, whatever, eh? Uh, sodium deposit. Armored clam. But, um... Oh no, this is a different one. Behavior shy, he's not carbon based. Huh. But we are totally, totally gonna go through this. We're we're gonna get some stuff. We're we're gonna the next episode I'm just gonna I'm just gonna probably wind up scanning crap and then you know mining stuff, because we're gonna need stuff coming up here, I'm sure. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors. And I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Save often. And, uh, um, maklar and stuff. All right, guys. You take it easy.